हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी विल डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक फार्मास्यूटिकल इम्प्योरिटीज दिस इज द फर्स्ट सेक्शन इन दिस सेक्शन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इज क्रिएटेड बाय डॉक्टर सत्य प्रकाश सिंह मोहम्मद उसामा अनूप कुमार सरवैया एंड रंजन कुमार in introduction we will discuss about what is impurity so in impurity in a drug substance as defined by ICH guidelines that is international conference on harmonization guidelines is any component of the drug substance that is not the chemical entity defined as drug substance and affects the purity of active ingredient or drug substances that means any substances or any component of the drug substance which is not the actual part of that substance that is termed as impurity therefore any therefore any extraneous material present in the drug substance has to be considered an impurity even if it is totally inert or has superior pharmacological properties according to icsh guidelines some common terms has been given related to impurities first one is intermediate penultimate intermediate by products transformation products interaction products related products and degradation products first one intermediate products that means what is intermediate products the compounds produced during synthesis of a desired material or as a part of the route of synthesis that is termed as a intermediate product pen ultimate intermediate product the pen ultimate intermediates are the last compound in the synthesis chain prior to the production of the final desired compound that is from the final compound the compound before the final compound that is called as pen ultimate intermediate compound it may or may not be possible to theorize all of them now by products by products are unplanned compounds produced in between the reaction the compound produced in the reaction other than required intermediates is also called as by products they can they can occur through a variety of side reactions such as over reaction incomplete reaction demonization and rearrangement of unwanted reactions between starting material or intermediates with chemical reagents or catalyst transformation products they are related to theorized and non theorized products that can occur in a reaction they are similar to by products except that more is known about these reaction products interaction products interaction products are those that could occur between various involved chemicals intentionally or unintentionally related products these are chemically similar to drug substances and may even possible possess biological activity these compounds are formed by the decomposition of active ingredient or other material of interest by the effect of external factors like heat light and moisture so these are called as degradation products according to now we will come to the classification of impurities according to usp it is classified into three categories impurities in official articles ordinary ordinary impurities and organic volatile impurities this is second type of classification according to ics terminology or ics guidelines 
it is again classified into three categories organic impurities that is process and drug related inorganic impurities that is reagent ligands and catalyst related and third one is residual solvents that is volatile solvents now organic impurities this type of impurities arise during the manufacturing process manufacturing processes and or during storage of the drug substance these include following sub impurities first one is starting materials or intermediate impurities this types of impurities occur in almost every api that is active pharmaceutical ingredient unless a proper care is taken in every step during the multi step synthesis of drug product although the end products are always washed with solvents but there are but there are chances of having the residual of unreacted starting materials unless the manufacturers are very careful about impurities next type is by products by products are in synthetic organic chemistry getting a single end product with complete yield is very rare so there is always a chance of having a by product along with desired end product that means the product other than end product that is called as by products degradation products impurities can also be formed by degradation of the end product during manufacturing of bulk drugs this mainly occurs due to improper storage of formulation second type is inorganic impurities inorganic impurities are also obtained from the manufacturing processes which are used in bulk drug formulation they are normally known and identified impurities in this first category is reagent ligands and catalyst so rare chances of occurrence of these impurities if during manufacturing procedure if the manufacturing procedure is not followed properly it will create a problem next category is heavy metals water is generally used in different manufacturing process which acts as the main source of heavy metals like argon cadmium chromium sodium magnesium magnesium manganese etc where acidification or acid hydrolysis takes place by using demineralized water and glass lined reactors heavy metal impurities can be easily avoided other materials that is filter aids charcoal the filters or filtering aids such as centrifuge bags are routinely used in the bulk drugs manufacturing plants and in many cases activated carbon is also used which also acts as a source of impurity therefore to avoid the contamination regular monitoring of fibers and black particles in the bulk drugs is essential third category is residual solvents in residual solvents are organic or inorganic liquids used during the manufacturing process it is very difficult to remove those solvents completely by the workup process so some solvent that are known to cause toxicity should be avoided in the production of bulk drugs these solvents which are which cannot be completely removed by the workup process that causes impurities to the product which is called as residual uh, solvent impurity by residual solvent this is all about general introduction of impurities and classification of impurities these are the references which i have followed during for the preparation of this impurities uh, this presentation thank you in the next presentation we will learn about different sources of impurities thank you again for your patience listening or hearing thank you